Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Robot Arena 2, uh, the Starcore AI mod pack. Um, we're going to be finishing off the last 10 teams today. Uh, I actually recounted, there are actually 35 teams in total that have um, lightweights, middleweights, and heavyweights. And I'm going to have to show you something real quick. As you can see, uh, not all of the teams, hang on, we got to go to Battle Royale. And then we're going to select our Star Core Combat Arena, or maybe, let me see, the Battle Box, or the Bridge of Doom, or the Combat. Did we do the Combat Arena yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, the Blade Arena is kind of fun. And that one works with the, uh, D, uh, the um, AI pack. But uh, I wanted to show you first this one here. Uh, not all of the teams have... Um, three lightweights or even two lightweights. Some instead have two middleweights or two heavyweights. And of course, after I weed out all of the different um, multiples of the same weight class with these, um, with these, uh, what, what do you call it, not preliminaries, but the um, qualifiers, uh, the, the format will be able to get back to the way it was before. Uh, with me actually being able to make a thumbnail of, uh, you know, the verses of each team. But um, Team 21 is actually Team Infestation, and let me show you real quick. Let's go right down to them. And I know it's um uh, very informal, but uh, it needs it needs to be done. It needs to be done. As you can see, they only have one lightweight. In exchange, they have three middleweights. So as it comes down to the middleweights, uh, they'll have to duke it out to see who will represent their team. And then there's a few teams where um, they have multiple heavyweights. As you can see, even these ones have multiple heavyweights. Some teams have two or three heavyweights, so they'll need to duke it out to see who will represent their team and so on and so forth. So each weight class is going to have to have um, qualifiers in order to see who will represent their team. So uh, we get to skip team infestation. Uh, Blood Leech is already the representing um, member for his team since he's the only lightweight. Then when we move on down to C2 Robotics, team number 22. And of course, if you have the mod, uh, you can check all of these uh, on your own if you wish. Uh, I'll need to try to remember to put down a link where you can. Uh, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can remember. I think I can remember where you can download the base game from at least. But I can't. I can't guarantee the mod. I'm not sure about that. It was given to me by a friend. Um, we got Team 22 here, C2 Robotics. They, of course, have three lightweights. Black Bull. And we're going to get him in there. Oh, we got to we got to go all the way back down again. Blasted. Well, I'll only have to do that once, I think. C2 Robotics, right? There we go. And then we got AW Rebel. And then, of course, uh, I got to go all the way back down again. Oh, uh, why? See, this is why... I know this is supposed to be like a weekly event, but I want to make it, um, I want to make these episodes more often, and now you can see as to why they take so long to make. They don't necessarily take a month or two weeks like it's been doing, um, but it does take a while to get all of this, because it's so confusing. BW Rhino is the third and final on Team C2 Robotics, okay. So we've got all three of them, now we just need to pick our arena. Hmm. And late night rumble. I see. I want to go with that because I don't know what will happen. But it's uh, it's an untested arena. It's an untested arena, and it, it I I like it because it's like ant weight stuff, you know. And they're you know the lightweights. Okay. Ooh, the Robo Games. <laughs> it's got my name in it. Let's try that one. See if that one will work. Uh, how do I do, uh, face, how do I do the follow cam again? F3, right? Yeah, action cam. Okay. Time to kick this match into gear. Oh, jeez, that's loud. Let's turn that down a bit. Okay. So we've got Black Bull, BW Rhino, and AW Rebel. I'm not sure who's who. I'm pretty sure that's Black Bull right there with the bull symbol on his, uh, top. He's dealing a good amount of damage and getting... Some damage uh, to this guy right here. Might be Rhino or Rebel. They all seem to be spikes. Like, uh, they use spikes 
to smash into their opponents. Right now, I think 600. Okay, we got Black Bull at 683, AW Red, Rebel at 430, and BW Rhino at 836. So Black Bull is just barely in the lead. Crowd's liking it. But it looks like his chassis is starting to cave in. All three of them got caved in chassis in the front. Looks like the only uh, real hazards in this arena are the uh, spikes on the outer walls. So I'm not sure. I think I might go back to the. Um, I think I might go back to the Starcore AI arena because I really like the hammers in that one. It helps uh, in the matches faster. Oh, some critical damage. I think on Rebel. Yeah, it's got to be Rebel, right? Because he's the only one flashing. Oh. Nope, Black Bull's in damage too. He's taken out. He's He was knocked out with over 1,000 points by, I believe, Rhino. Let's see. Rebel's taking a heavy amount of damage. Rhino just needs a few more hits. And there it is. Hey, I actually got their names right this time. So it looks like our winner is C2 Robotics BW Rhino with over 1,500 points. I'll get that written down and we'll move on to the next match. All right, folks, and we're back. I actually had to resume early because I wanted to show you. As you can see, all three of these bots were from Team C2 Robotics. Then you go down to the next team, uh, Team 23 EHB. And as you can see, they only have one lightweight, so we'll be skipping them. Uh, they're representing, they're represented by we versus apparently. So we'll be skipping them. The next team up is Carnival Mayhem, Team 24. It looks like they already had it written down, so they too only have one lightweight. It was Bitterbox, so he'll be representing his team. So the next team down is going to be Team 25, Team Zorb, or X-O-R-B. So I'm going to get to them real quick. 25, X-O-R-B. They've got uh, fail or hail, fail, <laughs> and they've got this guy. So that's going to be him and oof, XORB and Matanka2. Interesting. And I guess this guy uh, will have to take him out, which means that we'll have to scroll all the way down again if there's a team, uh, another team with uh, three lightweights. So, but it's got to be done. And for the arena, I've selected the Blade Arena just to see if it works out. Because there's one uh, main hazard, but it's a pretty deadly one. Okay. So we've got Fail and Matanka 2. Matanka 2 getting a spinner, having a separate spinning mechanism. Uh, Fail taking a heavy hit from the Blade uh, Trap. Looks like he's lost one of his main weapons. Um, Mate oh, he's out. Matanka 2 takes him out. Um, Matanka 2 uh, wins with over 700 points. Oh, well, the Blade Arena certainly seems to uh, help end things quickly. I'll get that written down and we'll move on to the next match. Alright, and we're back. Our next team is going to be Team 26, Mythbots. As you can see here, Team XORB. We got them, we got them taken care of. Then the next team, Mythbots. Headed by Anubis, and in slot number two, middleweight, heavyweight, middleweight, lightweight, uh, we got B.W. Odin, so that's Anubis versus Odin. So let's see what all they can do. Whoop! Gotta get that follow mode can. B.W. Odin, a lot like uh, Matanka 2 in the last match, built almost exactly the same way, possibly the same way, and apparently they're... Whoa! I demand a rematch. No, that's that's garbo. Okay, maybe maybe this arena is a little bit glitchy. Didn't happen. Nobody saw a thing. Nobody saw a thing. Let's let's just play it safe and go with the Starcore Arena. This one did not happen. None of that happened. Time to kick this Okay, match let's try gear. this again. B.W. Oven versus Anubis. Ooh, dang, they don't interact, uh, they do not interact very well. Uh, it looks like Odin's main weapon has been completely taken off. Uh, Nubis basically has this in the bag, I'm guessing. 
Not sure what's up with those axes. Maybe I should put some axes on my lightweight when I build one, because uh certainly seemed pretty effective there. Uh, Anubis almost had uh, Odin into the hammer trap. Odin uh, seems to be controlling the match with some good driving. He's got Anubis up on his side. Anubis being, um, what do you what do you call it? Not self riding, but oh, it, oh, he almost gets caught in there. Um, well, they're both invertible. That's what I'm looking for. But Anubis almost got caught in the uh, hammer trap. I really like the uh, designs on him. We've got just over a minute remaining, and B.W. Odin is out. The final hit dealt by Anubis. Good dodging for a minute there, but Anubis takes it home, and we'll be moving on to the next match. Actually, get that written down. Deathbots. A. N. U. E. I. S. I don't even know if I'm going to continue uh, pausing for the match. I want to get this done real quick. Real quick. Uh, looks like Team uh, 27, right after Mythbots. Uh, thanks of those. Uh, thanks to those of you who are hanging in there, because I know this is basically torture. I just want to get past the uh, qualifiers into the actual matches. Uh, team 27, Team Ultimatum. Looks as if they only had one lightweight, uh, Zenith. I already have his name written down. So we be, so we will be moving on to Team 28, Team Emergency. There we go. So they got this lightweight here, Breakdown, and this lightweight here, Blades of Life. Ah, I like that. It's a play on the word Jaws of Life. I like that. So Team Emergency, and then we got break uh, Breakout versus Blades of Life. So let's see it. It's basically uh, one uh, spinner bot versus two, or um, one bot with a spinner weapon versus a bot with two spinner weapons. One spinner weapon seems to be upside down, right side up. But, uh, well, let's just get on with it. F3. Let's begin. Okay. I'm probably going to give this to Blades of Life, seeing, seeing as how he has essentially twice as much weaponry, but you never know. Because, um, Breakout is actually using, like, a dual spike system. And Blades of Life has lost one of his blades. There's the flipper. Breakout's lost his main weapon due to, uh, from the flipper. But, uh, looks like Bra uh, Blades of Life is getting hit by the hammer trap. Um, now they're away from the hammer trap. They're caught in a tangle. But it looks like it's probably going to go to Blades of Life. Just based on the damage alone. He just needs a couple more good hits, probably one more, and he's done. Breakout is out, Blades of Life is in, so I'll get that written down. Alright, and we're back. Let's see, I've got that written down. We're going to go move on down to Team 29, ACAM's Anti-Wedge. I really hope I can at least finish this tournament. Between the middleweights and the heavyweights, this is going to take for friggin' ever. ACAM's Anti-Wedge, we got Lightweight here, Wedge... <laughs> <laughs> Wedge Whacker. Uh, then we got AW Wedge X, so just Wedge X. A lot of them have that AW, not sure what that's all about. ACAM's Anti Wedge, yeah, that's Team 29, alright. Wedge X, and then we're gonna have to scroll pretty fur down. We, oh boy. Let's see. ACAM's Anti Wedge, yep, Team 29. Finally, Wedge Y, so, huh. uh, Wedge Whacker, Wedge X, and Wedge Y, that's, that's kind of funny, it's like uh, XYZ Dragon from the old uh, Yu-Gi-Oh show, so we are all set to go, and let's get it started. May the strongest bot win. Indeed. Okay, looks like, uh, whoa, they're all three locked up, and the flipper... Flips one bot out and the other bot into the hammer. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I like to see some excitement every now and again at least. Gotta have that flipper apparently. Looks like uh, one of them is taking some heavy damage. Wedge Y is taking heavy damage. Wedge Whacker looks like he's uh, got 1,400 points. Way in the lead here. And he's definitely controlling the match. match pushing Wedge Y into the flipper again. Both bots, of course, being invertible. Don't really have any damage from the flipper unless they're flipped completely out of the arena or into a hazard. But it looks like it's probably going to go to uh, Wedge Whacker. 
He just needs a couple more good hits. If he if he uh, just back up for a second. But it looks like they're gonna push each other into the corner and probably have to wait for the count out. Just under a minute or just under two minutes remaining. Both got uh, both bots pushed into the corner now. Uh, 1,700 points for Wedge Wedge Y. 1,400 points for Wedge Whacker Y L W. Uh, countdown going. Both bots pushing back into the corner again, with just under a minute and 30 sec or 32 seconds remaining. Uh, Wedge Y at about, I'd say, medium damage now, flashing in the yellow. Probably going to be flashing in the uh, red if he takes uh, another hit to the chassis. Uh, let's see. It looks like Wedge Y has lost um, his like sort of down handle weapon there that he used to have. It wasn't really him, I think it was just another spike or another flipper. Uh, countdown going now against Wedge Y. Wedge Whacker pushes him Great out, match. and Wedge Y gets counted out. Looks like he goes to Wedge Whacker then. Okay, that's a shame. He had over 2,000 points. So I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right. Uh, looks like we're going to be skipping another team here. As I can see from my notes, it looks like... Let me get down to him. Man, this is taking forever. Happy Bees already has a winner. They only have one lightweight, so it's going to be this guy here, the Odd B. As you can see, middleweight, heavyweight, middleweight, middleweight, heavyweight. So they've already got their represented representative for their lightweight team. So let's see, Spinners of Doom, Team 31, seems to have Mini Mauler. So Mini Mauler, middleweight, heavyweight, 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 heavyweight. Okay, so we're skipping them. Then we got Team 32, Past, Present, Future, TikTok. Okay, let's get that down to them, Past, Present, Future, TikTok, middleweight, heavyweight, heavyweight, heavyweight. Lots of, good God, heavyweight, oh, wow. <laughs> They're going to have a 4v4 when it comes down to them. Haven't seen that one before. And then let's see the last three teams. Oh, thank God, finally. Team Space Station, Past, Present, Future, TikTok, Team Space Station, Team 33, is ah they have two two lightweights so Odin's Fury versus thank God it, it auto selects to that uh, air supply because I would hate to I'll have to go all the way down so Odin's Fury versus air supply and this guy's got to get ejected and let's go F3 F3 May the strongest so I'm gonna give it to Odin's Fury with a spinning weapon air supply might be a flipper he might be a wedge bot not sure it looks like a flipper. Otis Fury is going nuts. Ooh, a strong hit by Otis Fury on Air Supply. And it's over. Air Supply is out. I'm glad I actually uh, figured out a way to uh, learn them. When it's not three, sometimes they're, um, they're in the corner. So that goes to Odin's Fury with over 1,300 points. I'll get that written down. Team Space Station, Odin's Fury. Oh, it's Orion's Fury. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Orion's Fury. Finally. Okay, Team 34, the Mafia. They do not have a single lightweight, so they're going to have to duke it out. I hate that it goes, oh, well, I'll just go all the way down to the bottom there. So, Team 34, the Mafia. Okay, they have three lightweights. Good God, look at this guy. Tommy Gun, holy crud. No, I'm not winning the heavyweight uh, competition. Jesus. So we got Button Man versus Johnny Law versus Getaway Car. <laughs> it's all mafia themed, of course. I like these names. Hang on, let's go through them real quick. Dirty Money, <laughs> Tommy Gun, Johnny Law, Getaway Car, and The Dawn. <laughs> that is great. That is classic. Johnny Lol. And then finally, we're going to have to scroll all the way down again, but luckily we know our team is already all the way at the bottom. And we got Getaway Car. So it's Button Man versus Johnny Lol versus Getaway Car. Team 34. Thank God we're almost done. We are in there. F3, F3. Time so we got Button Man over here in the blue. Getaway Car. I think he's the double spinner, was he? I'm not sure. Ooh, somebody's taking heavy damage. Johnny Law has taken heavy damage. He's in, flashing in the yellow now with 600 points. 
6,700. Uh, he's almost out, flashing in the red now. And he's done. Johnny Law is out. It's down to Button Man and Getaway Car. Getaway Car, I think, is down there with 1,800. Oh, no, it must be, it must be, I don't know. Ooh, Button Man's got 2,815. Somebody takes a flight. Floor Flipper comes up. Looks like both bots have taken a pretty decent amount of damage. Ah, now I know it. Getaway Car is the one flashing in the yellow. Button Man is the one with the double spinners. Button Man has Getaway Car pinned up against the arena sidewall. Looks like Getaway Car has lost maybe one or possibly two tires. Count out going for both bots right now. Watch it, watch it. Button Man gets flipped. And... Oh, he stays in there just barely, and Getaway Car gets counted out. Hey, that was actually pretty good. I really didn't know whether or not he was going to get flipped out. That was pretty cool. So Button Man with the double spinners takes it home with over 4,000 points. So we got one more team to go. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the last match. All right, folks, and we're back. And now we've got the final team. Da, 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 da. Team Carnage. Looks like they've got three lightweights as well. So we're going to have Clip. Uh, it's going to make me scroll all the way down again. Oh, no, it's not. Awesome. So Clip versus Natbite. 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 Sounds weird. Team Carnage, middleweights, heavyweights, and then finally BW Big Natbite. Oh, oh, no. Save my baby from the Nat, says Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, F3. Time to All right, this match so let's gear. see. Big Nat Bite. He's the one with the double spikes there, right? Nope, nope. He's the little guy. So Nat Bite's this one here. Flip is the one with the spinners. And then Big Nat Bite is the one with the double spikes. Interesting. Looks like they're all locked up now. Flip currently in the lead with over 1,000 points. All bots successfully avoiding the flippers, unlike their predecessors. Lots of bots seem to be in the flippers tonight. Or today, actually. Let's see, we got Clip with 1,473. Uh, Big Nat Bite with over 1,200, so 12, 1,392 so far. Looks like Clip's dealing a lot of damage with those spinners, though. Uh, Nat Bite is getting counted out. Looks like he's got one wheel left. Uh, doesn't really have much of a way to get off of the arena sidewall right now, so it might go to... I'm going to say it's going to go to, what was his name, Clip, uh, if he can keep his main weapon from breaking. Yeah, actually, just leave him there, Clip. Uh, Clip should just leave him there. Uh, he's got more. He's got the most points, the most wheels left. It's over. Uh, Big Nat Bite is about to get counted out. He is now immobile. He's counted out, and now it's calling out on Nat Bite, the little one, with four seconds left remaining. Immobility warning for Clip as well, if he would just move a little bit. And there we go. It takes it to Clip. So that is the final match. We've got Team 35. Team Carnage is going to be represented by K-L-I-P. Nice. We are done with the lightweight preliminaries or the lightweight um, qualifiers. Clip takes it home with 2,315 points. So now we know who all is going to re uh, who all is going to be representing who for the lightweight tournament, and we can finally get that down. I'll get the roster written down uh, probably sometime tonight. Uh, this episode's going up today, and then I'm, I kind of want to get back to um, if I could um, Earth Defense Force. I really kind of missed that one, but I might have to stick to the regular story mode, single player only, until uh, my buddy can actually join me for some uh, multiplayer matches. My only other option for uh, Earth Defense Force would be to open up a private lobby on my own and just wait for people to join. Um, but that's all there is for that. I'm kind of kind of stuck in Robot Arena, um, uh, War Tech Fighters, and Naruto uh, Battle Climax 2018 for now because I didn't realize that they'd be such long-running series. But that's what the channel is going to have to be for a while because I just don't want to drop these series. There's a lot of big, uh, a big series going on right now, like uh, Subnautica um, Below Zero, of course, is uh, out right now, and there's there's some big names that are doing that. And then, of course, uh, another big game coming out is uh, I think it's 
Jump Force or Jump Strike or it's based on Shonen Jump, so I know Jump's in the name. Jump Force, it's got to be Jump Force, the anime one. Uh, I definitely want to play that when it comes out. Um, there's already been people on it, so I won't get a lot of uh, I, I won't get a lot of you know people watching that because there's already like uh, some of the people with more subscribers have been given access to the early access betas, which is fine. Uh, their channels are big, so the companies move to give them early access so that they can actually do advertising for the games in open beta. Uh, so now we can get along with our tournaments, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking with it this far. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.